Hi everybody. How many of you are users of 160 by 2 or were users of 160 by 2? And how many of you are users of wait by Same. So you have two accounts. Back up. Okay. You uh, are aware that we sold uh, 160 by 2 last year. You don't know? So I don't own 160 by 2 or operate or run 160 by 2 anymore. Oh, you're shocked. <laughs> so it was sold uh, last year and uh, again Wave to SMS sold 160 by 2 and Wave to SMS to another company called Value First Messaging, a delivery company. Why did we sell? So this stock, I'll keep it very important and uh, maybe have a uh, lot of wise. Why did I do that? Why did I do this? People ask me, why did you sell 160 by 2 and it's so profitable and uh, so popular, right? One is regulation. Last year, uh, during Diwali time, uh, PRAI, PIA, the Telecom Reg Regulatory uh, Authority has uh, imposed some regulations. So, the regulations were you cannot send messages beyond 9 o'clock in the night or before 9 o'clock in the morning. But most of you message after 9, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend, then. So, so that affected uh, 160 by 2 a lot. And then there was an increase in the pricing also. So they increased the 5 pressure. Uh, for every SMS that was going out, we had to pay 5 pressure to the operator. So we were procuring at less than 1 pressure per SMS back then. And uh, when sudden, uh, suddenly 5 pressure was imposed, the margins came down suddenly, I mean, drastically. So we were sending about 7 crore to 8 crore Hello. messages per day. Haan. Instantly after the day, Haan, the, uh, mess, the regulation was imposed, it came down to 80 lakh messages per day. Can you imagine that? Haan, so, what happened? The messaging came down so drastically. And then, uh, at, we were at our peak, we had 40 offices across India. I am with 700 people, we were playing, paying a salary bill of 1.1 1 1 crore, uh, 10 lakh, something like that. Uh, 40 offices in India and then 8 countries we had, uh, uh, most of them in Southeast Asia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Jakarta, Bangkok, Sri Lanka, Dubai. So we had offices and, and people selling SMSs. Uh, so suddenly it came down to now one office in Hyderabad. 40 people in that So, regulation is one reason and then the, the other reason is companies like WhatsApp. So, we or our Blackberry Messenger or iPhone, I mean iPhone messaging, right? All these have become a competition to PSA. So, we, we didn't see much future in, in, in the future. In, after 5 days of the regulation, we sold the business. In 5 days. The minute the regulation was in, Wait SMS uh, CEO, who also is a Telugu man in Hyderabad, called me, we were friends. Even, even though we were competitors, we are friends. So he called me and said, Now, uh, do you want to run the business or do you want to sell it to me? He said, If you don't sell it to me, I will have to sell it to you. <laughs> the, the reason is, uh, the regulation, there was, a, there was a condition that if the subscribers are within or subscribers of your business, it will be considered as a transactional SMS, not as a promotional SMS. So there are two types of SMSs, one is promotional, one is transactional. So promotional had a 5 paisa surcharge on it. The transactional the messages from the banks, from schools, which are very important, didn't have that uh, this thing. So, so if there was another condition that if the subscribers are within your group, within for your own company, then you can send consider them as transactional. So what might well 12 million users and he had something like uh, 20 million users. So both combined 32 million users, 70% of them, of the receivers were part of this whole 32 million. So 70% so of the messages were charged at one paisa. Only 30% of the messages were going out of people who are not registered users of both these companies together. So the idea was either I acquire that company or they acquire. So then we will become profitable again. So, so, we decided we will sell this thing. So, this is the story. Now, I will go back, rewind 20 years back. Okay, my story. 
how did I start uh, and why did I do what, what I did? I joined engineering. Why did I join engineering? Or I, I wrote an MSET, which is Andhra Pradesh uh, entrance exam to get into uh, engineering. So I couldn't get a seat there. So my father had to pay a donation. 60,000 rupees donation for mechanical engineering. He made such a big fuss about it uh, that I'm paying 60,000 for you, you know, you couldn't get a, a seat in this. I felt so bad. Today my son, who is in UKG, every year I pay 60,000. For four years I paid 60,000. For kindergarten, can you imagine that? I felt so guilty. I said, I have to work hard. I have to join this. I have to you know, do all these things. Why did I join engineering? Because uh, we get uh, dowry when I get married. So, <laughs> Doctors are valued in, in, in Andhra Pradesh. I don't know uh, about the rest of India, but we have this. We have to do engineering and then you have to go to the US. Then you get more dowry. <laughs> so that was my aim also, do engineering and then go to the US. So somehow I finished engineering and uh, applied for visa. So I went to Austria and go to the US. Why? Because my visa to US was rejected. So failures everywhere. I mean, You'll see more values now. <laughs> so I couldn't get a visa because I couldn't speak proper English. And most of my answers to the visa consulate, that guy's answers, uh, questions were, excuse me, excuse me, because I couldn't understand, I couldn't speak. So they rejected, they, they, they can't do anything there. So where is the next go around people, you know, we have this fancy of studying in in a place which is Western, Gora people, in a club and all, Australia. Nobody was going there, so I went there. <laughs> so, finished my MBA, business management, came back, I got married. Why? Because if I go and start a company, then nobody will give a girl to me. So, marry before you even start a business. <laughs> So why did I want to start a business? Because my father gave two, three recommendations to companies like Corbin Fertilizers and all that. Even then with the recommendation I couldn't get a job. So what is the option? Start a business. So I didn't have this, I, this glorified feeling that I have to be an entrepreneur. I didn't decide anything. Can, uh, certain people, as the previous speaker told, I had to start something. Because society everywhere I was going, and what are you doing now after coming from Australia? I am trying to get a job. So I was sick of telling them that I am trying to get a job. So I said, I said to my own company, how many people? Me, myself, nobody else. <laughs> so then somebody called me saying that, Toby, you started an IT company, right? Uh, so we need a job for my cousin who just finished engineering. So he, so do you have a job? Huh, I have a job. Pressure, I don't have to pay much. So I said, I'll pay you 3,000 rupees, will you work? He said, yes, I'll work with you. So both used to go and sit in my father's one small cabin he gave me. He runs an agricultural business, uh, uh, agrochemical distribution business. So small cabin he gave me. So I used to go with my laptop, one desktop we installed and we used to go and create some. So uh, what I did is, I, because when I was in Australia, well, this is an interesting story again. When I was in engineering, that, that, in 1996, I finished my engineering. No internet. So we were talking about internet. Internet just came to India. So we had to dial STD to get internet pages loaded. So Google dial STD and we did. I never saw a page on internet when I was in India. So once I, and then people told that IIT may have, they are watching Playboy on internet. <laughs> we don't know what, how it will look out So first when I went to Australia, they gave me an email id dot au dot I mean I studied in University of Western Sydney. So in Sydney we went to this university, I got an email id. Then first thing after getting the email id, we opened a page, porn sites. <laughs> that is internet for us, right? For all the young guys, 
What is the email email and nobody is there to send it to? I have an email but I think in India, anyway, I don't have an email. So I just don't use that email. Why do you have to send an email to my colleague who is next to who is a student there? I didn't need email. I needed porn, sir. <laughs> So then I, I started reading magazines and I saw these people who were making money starting uh, dot com and dot com boom was happening 1996 to 98 boom in, in the US. People were starting business and getting millions of dollars from it. So I said I will also start a business. I'll become big rich uh, tomorrow. So I came to India and then uh, I started this company that I, I learned a course in uh, you know internet technologies. So I got course. So I learned ASP, started coding. So I started a company called A2Z Exams. It was an online examination portal testing uh, people's uh, skills online and online. So we went to companies trying to sell. Nobody wanted to buy. Right? So because they said that guy will copy. How do you know that the, I gave an exam to suppose Satya, I wanted the company wanted to test Satya. And how do you know that Satya took the test? Somebody else can take the test and keep. Right, so then he said, okay, now you install in, in your premises and then I'll give a paper. Why do I need an online test for you? So very difficult to convince people back then in uh, 98 and 2000, 2000 uh, so it was. So after uh, 12 months or, or 18 months, I found that I met a company, a US company, who wanted, who are in the recruitment space. They heard, uh, heard about my website and they said, okay, we'll buy your website because we, we wanted to build such a uh, site and it will cost us something like 50 lakhs to develop it in the US. So we pay that money to you to give us your website. So we said, that's good. At least I made some money. So that was my first sale I made in, in my life. So I sold my company. Not a big, not a big amount, but at least I thought it was my salary for the 18 months of order because we didn't have salary in my company. So then, uh, then I, then I didn't know what to do. So then I met somebody in a wedding, and then uh, he said, "Why don't you, because you started something, you struggled and all." Yeah. He lives in the UK and runs a company called Expert Technology. So they are a calling card business in the UK. In so they said we wanted to develop a website uh, which sells calling cards online, retail business, e-commerce business, but all market is in the UK. So we had to develop. It. He said, why don't you start and uh, take care of India also. So I started, uh, I hired a team of 25 people that we could do. Then uh, built the business and two years I worked there. So we were like very happy when the first card was bought online and all that. So we scaled it to something like uh, 80,000 pounds per day business or something. It became a very big business. I don't remember the exact statistics, but that's how. So then I uh, met somebody called Raju Kalgari. Uh, so he said uh, uh, he had an idea. So he came to my office and he showed me. He sent a message on the computer. It came on my mobile. I was like, wow. It so, didn't come from, because he typed, I saw it, the same message was there. But till then, the message was from mobile to mobile. It was never from computer to This was in 2003. India didn't have so many mobiles. Uh, I mean, I, I had a mobile which I was paying 16. That also I got a marriage gift uh, from my <laughs> father-in-law. Uh, the rates are like to receive, you are paying 8 rupees. To call, you are paying something like 16 rupees kind of a thing. So, but then uh, I researched a lot. The so UK people are doing a lot of messaging and so much is happening. So I said, this could be a big business in the future. Four, five years, it will be big. So in 2003 we started in a small apartment and then hired some 4-5 people and then because I ran 25-30 uh, people I know how to get systems run. So to cut to all the stories, uh, so in 2000, by 2007 we were doing decent level, 40 50 people, about uh, 15 to 16 lakhs a month revenue, so decent, uh, no problem then. We figured out we have to take a big leap, else we will, we will remain like this one. So then somebody suggested uh, on a Sunday afternoon we were sitting and thinking what to do. Why don't we give it free? Free, that night I couldn't sleep. What is this? <laughs> because each message was, by 2007 only the message was 
something like uh, 25 pairs of wire SMS that we had to pay the operator, right? So I started calculating if they send one lakh message per day, how much? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so then we thought, we started thinking of it, can we restrict it to maybe five messages per day and, and, and something like that. So we, we stopped registration, we said registration by invitation only. Thanks to Google, they gave the idea. They said uh, registration by invitation only. So we thought if people are too many, people are sending too much, we we'll stop by restricting the registration. So we did that, but uh, slowly the messaging started coming down the... Uh, this thing, but at one point of time, after a year, we had one million registered users, and the bill per month was something like forty lakhs per month, and we were not making any money, right? Zero money. Who will pay if you go and tell them I have one million registered users? No advertisers are ready to pay. Mm -hmm. Then, um, uh, then we went to the VCs, and VCs started coming to us because word spread that these guys are doing well. Everybody started sending messages and all that. So they thought this is a good place to invest in. So Sequoia Capital came, IDG Capital came, so we were talking. So one meeting I went to IDG, third meeting or fourth meeting in Bangalore, and uh, they count, kind of sounded negative. They said, uh, this is not there, that is not there. I didn't know then, it was a tactic to negotiate, so to get a better valuation for them. But I called home and I told my dad, it looks like it won't work, uh, so they said close down. 40 lakhs, 50 lakhs per month, I cannot uh, keep on paying uh, this thing. So we were so dejected. But luckily, uh, see, the process of VC uh, is coming in and by the time they close, it takes about 3 to 4 months. Worst case, it takes 6 months. So then during the interaction, IDG gave me an idea. They said, you know, they spoke to all the uh, uh, this competitors, right? They told that Beta uh, SMS is putting online ads. My philosophy was, if you are a mobile advertising company, the, the idea, the name you put is 160 by 2, which means every SMS is 160 characters, the top is free SMS, the second part is free SMS, right? If you send a message saying, let's go for coffee, barista ad will come or coffee shop, or coffee shop ad will come. So, when you say your model is that, how can you put online advertising, was my question. So, I resisted that idea for a long time. But these guys told me that they were making this much amount of money. He said, really, let us try and we put uh, online ad. And first day we made something like uh, 60,000 rupees. We were like, oh my God, so much opportunity. So we, we put and we continued that and then the same month we broke even. The money we were spending, we got more than that. So we were like, man, so now what is the need to take VC money? So we, we, didn't, we didn't take the money, not only because we were breaking even, because uh, the terms were a little aggressive again, we didn't want to go ahead with that term. So, so there we didn't, so the company grew without any money, you know, self-funded and it grew our organic. We started growing and, and uh, so, you know the latest, we sold it and had 12 million registered users. And uh, so after that, the money we made out of the business, we invested in three companies. So, a third uh, angel investor or, or maybe, I don't know, so how can I call myself? So we invested in three companies, one is Ava.com, which is like ratings and reviews. So we see that internet is a big opportunity for India and that too through mobile and through Facebook or, or social networks. So any idea that is successful already on internet and if you add mobile and uh, social to that, I think there is a new opportunity to compete with the existing players. So Ava is like, uh, if you find a business, you want to rate it. It could be a school, it could be a college, uh, it could be a hospital or anything. So reviews, because now people are going online reading reviews. If uh, Zomato is for uh, restaurants, Avaaz is for other businesses. The other business we invested is in uh, a company called 360 Invite. So if you have a wedding or a birthday party, you can invite. Or for this center, you want to invite people. So there's a company called Evite in, in the US, but it is only web-based in the US. Uh, 360 invite, the primary focus is on mobile. So you can call a number and you can rec uh, record your message. So the, the IVR will ask you if record in your own language. You can record in Gujarati, Telugu, Punjabi, whatever. And then save that message and when you say send, it will send to the list of your contacts automatic dialogue. The other person who receives can take the call and listen to your recorded call. Suppose you want to remind 20... Uh, 
100 people or 500 people about this, this event that is happening. Just record a message and leave it and 100 phones will ring simultaneously and then it's like a voice message. So you can send a voice message, SMS, uh, email and Facebook invite. So all of them together we think it completes the 360 invitation this way. So we call it this email. And there's another company called Uberbad, which is called uh, recruitment for college students. The idea is we think that college students know each other uh, so well because they study four years or two years if it's an MBA. The knowledge is not being uh, given to the employer. So primarily it's a gaming, people can play games. If you log in with, uh, with your this thing, you will show two photos of your friend and ask whom do you think is a better leader or who has better communication skills. So you can click on that. It, people vote on you and, and uh, your reputation will will be sent